Chapter 5 The Terrible Tractors As the sun rose the next morning, Boggis and Bunce and Bean were still digging. They had dug a hole so deep you could have put a house into it, but they had not yet come to the end of the fox's tunnel. They were all very tired and cross. Dang and blast, said Boggis. Whose rotten idea was this? Bean's idea, said Bunce. Boggis and Bunce both stared at Bean. Bean took another swig of cider, then put the flask back into his pocket without offering it to the others. Listen, he said angrily, I want that fox. I'm going to get that fox. I'm not giving in till I've strung him up on over my front porch, dead as a dumpling. We can't get him by digging, that's for sure, said the fat Boggis. I've had enough of digging. Bunce, the little pot-bellied dwarf, looked up at Bean and said, Have you got any more stupid ideas then? What? said Bean. I can't hear you. Bean never took a bath. He never even washed. As a result, his ear holes were clogged with all kinds of muck and wax and bits of chewing gum and dead flies and stuff like that. This made him deaf. Speak louder, he said to Bunce. And Bunce shouted back, Got any more stupid ideas? Bean rubbed the back of his neck with a dirty finger. He had a boil coming there and it itched. What we need on this job he said, is machines, mechanical shovels. We'll have him out in five minutes with mechanical shovels. This was a pretty good idea, and the other two had to admit it. All right then, Bean said, taking charge. Boggis, you stay here and see the fox doesn't escape. Bunce and I will go and fetch our machinery. If he tries to get out, shoot him, quick. The long Thin Bean walked away. The tiny bunts trotted after him. The fat Boggis stayed where he was, with his gun pointing at the foxhole. Soon, two enormous caterpillar tractors with mechanical shovers on their front ends came clanking into the wood. Bean was driving one, Bunts the other. The machines were both black. They were murderous, brutal looking monsters here we go then shouted bean death to the fox shouted bunce the machines went to work biting huge mouthfuls of soil out of the hill the big tree under which mr fox had dug his hole in the first place was toppled like a matchstick on all sides rocks were sent flying and trees were falling and the noise was deafening. Down in the tunnel, the foxes crouched, listening to the terrible clanging and banging overhead. What's happening, Dad? cried the small foxes. What are they doing? Mr. Fox didn't know what was happening or what they were doing. It's an earthquake, cried Mrs. Fox. Look, said one of the small foxes, our tunnel's getting shorter. I can see daylight. They all looked round. And yes, the mouth of the tunnel was only a few feet away from them now. And in the circle of daylight beyond, they could see the two huge black tractors almost on top of them. Tractors, shouted Mr Fox, and mechanical shovels. Dig for your lives. Dig, dig, dig. Dig. 